We look forward to a world founded upon four essential human freedoms. The first is freedom of speech and expression everywhere. Through endeavor, courage that comes from cultivating the habit of refusing to let fear dictate one's actions. Together, let us explore the stars, conquer the deserts, eradicate disease, tap the ocean depths, and encourage the arts and commerce. Freedom leads to prosperity. Freedom replaces the ancient hatreds among the nations with comedy and peace. Freedom is the victor. I listened to a lot of speeches. Ironically, and I didn't set out to do this, they all had one common theme, and that was freedom, human rights. Literally, the first five seconds that I heard this piece, or one minute that I heard this piece, I was, I was so old. Well, part of why I was interested in being involved in this project is just that it's so unique. First off, the uh, Kennedy inaugural speech was uh, a catalytic event in my life, propelling me uh, as much as anything else into public service. I didn't even realize how powerful it was until after I did it, because now people are coming, they want to be involved, they're finding new facets to this whole project that I didn't even think about when I got started with it. And it's making me understand the power of embracing who you are. He deals with the theme of freedom while his family was very involved in the, in the civil rights struggle in America. And he's very much always that's a part of him. And I think it, it all shows in the speeches that he chose, the depth of this music and the seriousness of it. Hey, he's for real. I uh, had came to the conclusion that Ted Nash is uh, some kind of genius to be able to take um, these speeches of world figures, you know, Winston Churchill to FDR, John F. Kennedy to Lyndon Johnson, and, and somehow make them a whole. I think Ted Nash is my hero. If to conceive this idea and, and to put it in the context of jazz, I think it's just, it's reaching new generations. You know, I used to listen to some of these speeches and I, I knew how they start and now how they end. But now you listen to him in a different way. He's taken them and he bends them over sort of an acoustic horizon. You're like, wow, I didn't realize that Nehru could sound so good, you know? That one cannot put an end to violence by greater violence. Everything has a pitch. Sometimes we forget about that. We don't think that the car squealing, the, the door closing, you drop your phone on the ground, it goes thud, but it actually goes boom, it, it plays a B flat or something. So everything has a pitch. Like when you, when you hear, um, Nehru, for example, his speech, The Tryst with Destiny, he speaks in a very, very, very small, very narrow place. So his the thematic material that came from that Right? It's all in a very narrow place. Now I have all these pitches. What am I going to do? Let's take Nehru. He's from India. All right, let me deal with that. One of the, the pieces that really appealed to me was the, uh, the Winston Churchill piece. Because at first, I, I admit I was a little bit surprised by it. It's like a, it's a, it's like a ballad trying to find itself in a, in a beautiful way. And I realized that he dramatized, not the speech itself, but I think he dramatized the inner state of Churchill at the moment that he was speaking it. And as a, as a theater composer, you know, my hat is off to him. I, I really, I really enjoyed that. History is a very elusive thing that can evaporate, and unless it's cherished, and unless it's sought after by succeeding generations, 
we lose the extraordinary wealth of memory. It can be uh, you know, lifted and looked at and examined, say, oh, that's where we were, and that's who we sh should become again. There is a way in which uh, words and music uh, touch a part of us that reminds us of the importance of freedom, that, that each of us is created uniquely. We have all sorts of potential within us. These speeches deal with themes that are so huge and yet so simple. Yeah, I wrote a piece of music and I want people to like that. I want them to enjoy the sound of the music and maybe understand some of the processes. But I want them to hear this music, go back and discover these speeches and say, wow, there's more that I can do. There's more that I can do to make other people's lives uh, fuller. It's really connected to the human condition and the piece that Ted wrote is all about that, and uh, so I was very, very honored to be part of it. The time of healing of the wounds has come. The moments to bridge the chasms that divide us we has in the come. West and ready to cooperate with the East to promote true openness, to break down barriers that separate people, That's to create a safe, What America will do for world. you, sure. but what together we can do for the freedom of man. Our strength is in our unity of purpose. To that high concept, there can be no end save victory.